When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? This is an architectural cake. It's a tough cake. I'm definitely confident that you can, you can pull this off. If it's a dress I want, and I'm gonna have it. Okay, so where's it stop? So what, you get, you get a beautiful dress all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden we go to something else? No! And then we're gonna get something else nice, and then something else nice. It, it, it's gonna be a ripple effect. Oh, no. It's ruined. It, it's, it's my freaking wedding day. We don't have enough money. We do have enough money now. Weddings are inspirational. Weddings can be multi-denominational. Weddings are working with a budget that isn't always so sensational. Meet Leah and Cave, just married. Their wedding was as creative as their accounting. Let's peer into their ledger book and catch a glimpse of the events leading up to their big day. My name is Leah, but my friends call me Kathy Lee. Leah, whatever. I'm 28 years old and I work for an insurance company. Two years ago, I met Cave at a party, and three dates later, he was convinced I was his soulmate. I was convinced as well. This is the story of how I married my Prince Charming. Weddings and money, like Leah and Cave, are forever entwined in a tight embrace. At the end of the show, we'll reveal how much money it took for Leah's Prince Charming to give her a wedding fit for a queen. Well, for our wedding, I mean, we really wanted people to see that we weren't really walking on that traditional line. Combining both types of ceremonies, the Iranian and more the traditional, you know, we really want to, to show people that our love is something very unique and something different. Somewhere. Yeah, that it's really about the union and not so much about... The commercialism of it. <laughs> you know, yeah. You're right, Leah. It was all about the union. The credit union, that is. But what did it take to pull off this unique wedding? We are definitely both people that do not like giving up creative control. But at the same time, I guess we felt that acquiring a wedding planner could at least allow us to take care of those little, you know... The little things that you can't worry about on, on, on wedding your wedding day. day. Yeah. Enter David Valley. Was his 10 years experience as an event planner enough to help him with Leah and Cave's little things? Let's see if he'll cave into their creative control. My role as a wedding planner is to try to take the people that I'm working with, figure out who they are, and figure out how best to work with them. What I really want to do today is get a sense from you guys as to what you are looking for and sort of how you see, how you vision the day going. You know, unique, mm -hmm. for sure. Definitely entertaining. Fairy tale, modern okay. fairy tale yeah, wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairy tale, <laughs> fabulous. We were thinking we had this Crystal Palace idea. Is, do you guys have a venue yet? No. <laughs> well, but. not an official venue, but <laughs> we have been looking at a lot of venues. We have an venues. idea of where we want it. One of the venues we've been looking at is, uh, I guess, lounges. Oh. Right. We're, we're interested in going for, you know, a unique style of, of a wedding, and lounges are something that we were looking at, but I don't know, we're a little bit hesitant. A wedding in a lounge? Not exactly Leah's vision of a crystal palace. So I look at this more as a, as a party, you know what I mean? A celebration of us, of our union, and, and that's the extent of it. You know, I have this vision that I want, you know, and I mean, his... I want it to match mine exactly, you know, because I want it to be the way I want it, really. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't see nightclub and fairy tale because I mean, if you want fairy tale, there's got to be a certain element of, of mystique and and of of grandeur. And if there's not that, then, I mean, people go to nightclubs every weekend. And a bar is not a place fit for a princess. What are your uh, backgrounds, by the way? Well, my family is Catholic. Okay. And his is Muslim. Oh. So it's, uh, it's gonna the be rivals, sort of a combined, sort of, exactly. a combined. My parents are more liberal regarding the matter. Right. However, her parents, they would love, you know, if I had it in a church, but. I think we were both actually probably the black sheeps of our family anyway, yeah, so. I'm sure what's the difference? Well, so they weren't, expect, they weren't expecting yeah, anything. Exactly. Uh, okay, so let's get, get into some of the nitty gritty of, um, of sort of how things are gonna look. Do you have any kind of special tradition in terms of the wedding cake? We have decided on this one wedding cake, which is not, it's not a traditional wedding cake. There's gonna be these white calla lilies that hold from one tier and hold up the, the second tier, the top tier. However, what's going to Do you have happen? somebody who can do this? Yes. No. Well, there is someone that can do I it. I thought you were like, do we have someone? No, oh, no, 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 no. Some yeah. of these constructed cakes yes. are oh, yeah. outrageously yeah, no, no, no. They, We saw it on, the, on, on their online, store, based yeah. online okay. in their store. Okay, so wedding dress. What are you thinking sort of style-wise without getting too specific? I want a completely unique gown. Um, preferably, I'd love to design it myself or have cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. a designer design it. Cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. Oh, no! <laughs> it's the one thing that 
personally, I, I would want to splurge on for myself for the wedding. You know, as well as venue and everything else. But uh, well, you gotta choose your balance. Beautiful. Like... Well, come on. I mean, this is like the one time I'm ever gonna get married in my right. life. Leo would like to have a little bit more of an extravagant wedding, but unfortunately, we can't afford to have a more extravagant wedding due to the fact that we are actually paying for, you know, for the wedding. Uh, the budget is is non-negotiable. Okay, so the moment I guess we're at right now is, what's your budget? Oh. Okay. Coming up. I'm gonna have it. Okay, so where's the stop? So what, you get you get a beautiful dress all of a sudden and then all of a sudden we go to something else? No. And then we get something else nicer and something else nicer. It, it, it's gonna be a ripple effect. Maybe I'm a tightwad, I don't know, but there's no way I'm spending $3,000 for a dress I'm gonna wear once. You know, I'm gonna spend $3,000, I'm gonna buy a whole wardrobe, <laughs> not just a wedding dress. When it comes to paying for a wedding, sometimes your artistic vision requires a little financial imagination. After all, it's I do and not I wish. Da -ding, da -ding, da -ding. Oh no! God. <laughs> well, come on. I mean, this is like the one time I'm ever gonna get married in my right. life. At the end of the show, we'll let you in on whether or not Leah and Caves' once-in-a-lifetime day saddled them with a lifetime of debt. Leah wanted the historical venue, of course. Had to cost so much money. So I came up with this great, brilliant suggestion of wanting to go to a club, which would have brought our costs down like so much more. I don't know. <laughs> she didn't like the club idea at all. I did not like the club idea. It just wasn't working for me. And my parents decided to sit us down and have a meeting. Do you think this nightclub is, is appropriate? <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not, look. it's your not your grandmother doesn't particularly know what a nightclub looks like. But most of the folks are going to be elder folks. It's not where I would want to go, but it's pretty. I mean, we have to but sort of compromise, right? With our right? Budget, so. so why don't you choose what you really like, and we'll help you out. But it has to be a place that uh, our relatives would really like as well. Okay. You know, the so-called older folks, yeah. it looks as if uh, they will need uh, twice as much money as they had initially thought. There's something, I guess, that I have, which, which is pride as well, and we want to ensure that we can be able to pay you back. We help you out, we help you out, not because we want to be paid back. No, I know, but I mean, I, I personally, because, uh, you know, don't want to. It's okay, just let, <laughs> let them take care of it. <laughs> let them take care of it. Obviously, with their help, it's gonna make it easier now for us to splurge on the little extra things that we couldn't really splurge on before. Yeah, like a castle. Wow. Really? Yeah. I love this uh, Fairy princess. More like daddy's little princess. The minute we walked into this place, we knew we wanted to have our wedding here. So it's great to just, you know, walk through the conservatory and the library and the great hall and just sort of see it all coming together. It's really exciting. We were going in with, with design, so we wanted to make sure that they oh. complement each other. Mine was masculine enough, and but yet at the same time stylish. Oh, wow. Sometimes they don't go together. You excited? Yes, I am. <laughs> So you got our moldings for us, huh? Yep, the moment of <laughs> truth. Oh, that's nice. Do you like it? Yes, I do. <laughs> Is it the size of diamond you're, you're going for? Well, yeah, it's perfect. And then for him, instead of five, we're going to do seven diamonds. Great. Yeah. Seven? The ring might be the only thing Cave can afford to wear at his wedding. It's pretty Speak. nice. Like, yeah, it's pretty it costs so much, but it's pretty nice. The rings actually cost just over half of our original budget, you know? so. I mean, I, was, I wasn't too happy with that initially, obviously, but you didn't mind, right? No, you I love the fine. ring. Who cares about the budget? Uh, we saw this gorgeous cake that we knew we wanted. Uh, the only thing is that it was, I think, $700? About that, yeah. $700, so we were like, no way. Even the bank of mom and dad has a daily spending limit. First of all, can you show them the, yes, uh, I have our a idea? I got a picture of the cake. Okay. This is exactly what we want. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what we're looking at. This is an architectural cake. I didn't see you scream yet, so that's a good sign. <laughs> There's no question that you are a phenomenal baker. Are you used to working with stuff that's built like this? Yes. You think you can make this cake? Yes, absolutely. Okay, that's a confident answer. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. So then, um, how, how much is, are we looking at something like this for? This is gonna be 10 kilogram cake, and we will charge it for $30 per kilo. You know what, that's actually that's pretty good. That's man. <laughs> and 300 bucks, I know you can pull this off, so <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but $300, if it, if it 
t topples over. It, oh, no, I, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough cake. No, I trust him, I trust him. The difficulty with their cake is it's fairly architectural. The bottom pieces are simple, but when you get up into that area with the flowers, you're basically dealing with structural engineering. When I had my heart set on getting a custom-made suit, I knew that I had to go to this one uh, designer friend of mine. I knew that I could guarantee that he was the one to bring my, you know, my vision to life. He's the only one that could do that. Mm -hmm. With design and everything, it's gonna be roughly a thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like a white dress shirt, and right. then after that, I'm gonna put like this purple kind of satiny silk scarf around. Okay. And we're gonna be putting uh, some diamonds around the sides over here. Right. You know what I mean? Diamonds? Yeah, diamonds. Well, fake diamonds. Diamantes. Yeah, diamantes. Diamantes. Yeah, diamantes. Yeah, the good old diamantes. I would veer a little bit more, maybe a little bit more conservative. Yeah, yeah. Then I was trying to get Cave maybe to tone it down just a little bit. Which was not easy for the artist formerly known as Cave. Weddings are about both parties involved, so why can't the grooms, you know, spend a little money and, and, and look chic as well? Why not? Oh, hold, on, hold on, let me just uh, capture this, encapsulate this moment for a second, David. Okay. While our groom was looking chic, well, what designer vision did our bride have in mind? I wanted a gorgeous gown. I wanted something that was original, that was nothing like anyone had ever seen before. Oh. oh goodness. Oh, heavenly. That is fabulous. Oh it's a my. It pulls me away that it fits her like a glove. It's glove. It looks like it, it's meant for her. Is that gorgeous? That match made oh, yeah, it's lovely. Yes. Just fabulous. Oh, How do you feel in it? That's most important. How do you feel about it? Well, I love this one because it's really fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has this. Mm -hmm. I mean, tool. I used to dance, so this is very familiar to me. Mm -hmm. It makes you look like the ballerina. It's the difference between a couture dress oh, and, and a regular one. And I guess the question really is, it's going to be $3,000, $3,500. Mm -hmm. Our finances, it's sort of a, you know, little bit of a situation. But I want to make sure that I look perfect. Oh. Oh, yeah, this dress is lovely. Very I beautiful. Oh, I love this it, is yeah. the one. Oh, my god. Her dad and I will do our best to help them out. Leah's one lucky bride. Unfortunately, her groom didn't share her enthusiasm. Look, it's my dress. So? It's, it's my friggin' wedding day. We don't have enough money. We do have enough money now. My parents told me if I wanted that dress and we couldn't afford it, they were gonna help out. So you have to have respect for other people at the same time, you know what I mean? You keep yeah. saying I'm disrespecting them. I'm not disrespecting them. They're gonna give us the extra funds to help me get the dress I want, and I'm gonna have it. Okay, so where does it stop? So what, you get, you get a beautiful dress all of a sudden and then all of a sudden we go to something else? No. And then we get something else nicer and something else nicer. It's going to be a ripple effect. No. You know, there's going to be no end to it. No. It stops in my dress. Coming up. Did you see one key for, uh, for the car I rented? I'm looking for the key. I can't find it. If they're lost, then I'm really screwed. I think if we were to do it again today... I would marry the same girl, but... Oh, I'll... and I would marry the same guy. Mm -hmm. No matter how hard you try to balance the budget for your wedding, there's always something that interferes with your good intentions and spending. So you have to have respect for other people at the same time, you know what I mean? You keep yeah. saying I'm disrespecting them. I'm not disrespecting them. At the end of the show, we'll divulge how much Leah and Cave's modern fairy tale set them back, even with the help of an old-fashioned solution. And thanks to Leah's parents, a gown for their princess was purchased, a suit for her Prince Charming was designed, and their royal palace booked. Had our couple forgotten anything? Nothing, except to get a wedding cake with no assembly required. During the rehearsal, David was just as confused. Oh yeah, chaotic as us. There's no We're saying something. For she's saying something. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me let me understand the cutting of the wedding cake. Okay, this is this is complicated. Okay. <laughs> it's like stressing us out. We need uh, okay. we need actually a chef to <laughs> assemble good. the cake. Okay, what happens is in the middle of it, there's this glass contraption that's going to be holding baked flowers. It's actually going to sink into the cake if, if it stays on it too, too long. long. So, so uh, this this person who's assembling the cake, who might that be? Assembling the cake will just a be your, your, one of your guys, sh your chef or something like that. All no, it has to, all it is is. I would do it. Wait, it's just all it is, sitting up there. All it is is place the cake down. Put the top part on, we stand, click, 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 mm -hmm. take it off, That's it. cut, and then it goes away. No, it's, it's already Great. assembled, don't get me wrong. It's just, you just have to move it up like that. That's like it's it. just Literally. put the top piece on okay. the bottom. And you can do that in the front of the room. I'm gonna go on record on this. I will help somebody from Casa Loma do this because okay. I have seen how this cake is supposed okay. to look. Okay. However, an idea. Uh, there's a legal disclaimer going yes, on here. Yes, yes. If anything whatsoever bad happens to this cake yes. at any point from start to finish, yes. I take no personal responsibilities. <laughs> okay? You got All it? Right. Okay. Good. Here's a business opportunity. Wedding cake insurance. 
When I woke up on the day of the wedding, you know, I was starting to get anxious. My calm had sort of gone from the day before. I was trying to still keep it together. It started getting chaotic, right? Okay, where's my bracelet? Did anyone find my bracelet and my garter? The veins started to pop out <laughs> my forehead. Ma! I had it on the bed. Ma! It wasn't here. I don't know. Oh my god. I got it. Ma! Oh. I need my garter! I found it! Oh, thank you! Here. And my bracelet. Woo! Great. Thank you. You know, I want to ensure that I took care of a lot of the things that I knew could go wrong the day of, and I didn't want that to happen. So the I figured cake? We found out so late in the game that yeah. our baker is going to charge us $40 to acquire someone else to go and pick up the cake, right? And I said, hey, forget that. I'm going to take it myself. I'm going to pick up the cake. Uh, then I took it to my dad's place. After that, left it there in the fridge, got ready, Yeah, was saved it, some money. $40. Wasn't the smartest thing to do. From picking up cakes to picking up cars and chauffeuring photographers, everything was under Kay's creative control, except for his final suit fitting. That jacket looks good. Amazing. So jacket's completely done, Mo? Yes. And how about the sleeves? I want it to be like open. Okay. Can you do it though? Yeah, Half an hour. Half an hour? Yes. See, everything is completely and utterly time sensitive today, so I don't have time to sit around, especially something that you can count on, like a suit being ready, is not ready. Can I go and fix my makeup? From max control to maximum mascara, Cave had all his bases covered. Hey, Mo, what's going on, man? We're on the clock. Please hurry it up. Press for time, Mo. Honestly, we have to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah. I'll say. With 20 minutes to go before the wedding, our groom was cutting it close and somehow managed to lose his car keys. Hold up. And the keys of the car, if they're, if they're lost, then I'm really screwed. Looking for the key, I can't find it. Oh, it's right here. Okay, I found the freaking key, thank God. Coming up. Oh, no. It's ruined. I don't want to see it. If do, you have, do you have the same color as well? No, that's the problem. I remember the moment looking up the aisle and seeing all the people around and thinking that uh, in four or more hours, we'll be able to leave all the crowd and uh, be alone finally and get started on our honeymoon. When it comes to weddings, it's the details that count, especially when you're having two ceremonies. After all, it's I do, but at what cost? I gotta put my garter on. Where's my garter? I had it on the bed. Ma! No matter the budget, is it ever enough? Soon you'll find out what Leah and Cave paid to make their day a royal success. You just can't put into words experience. Speechless when I saw you come down. You yeah. were speechless when I was going you down. You were beautiful. You are beautiful. <laughs> Do you promise to provide for her in health and in sickness? I do. <laughs> do you take him to be your lawful husband? Yes, I do. You got your kiss now? Yes, I do. <laughs> and just in case you missed it the first time, here's a replay. We do come from two religious backgrounds. We wanted to make sure that we combined both. Remember both the Iranian and more the traditional. Together. We came together on a neutral ground as far as spirituality. They may have had two ceremonies, but too bad they didn't have two cakes. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. It's ruined. Whoever picked this up, and it wasn't my people, it's com Ah. They didn't... It's too big for the box. Good thing you had that disclaimer, David. There's one side that's really bad. I think it's definitely on repair. The only thing you can do is just really hide it. But well, you can't. You can't just make that frosting out of a nut. Like it's just that's got to be something that you yeah. want, possibly flowers. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. I just don't want to get the up couple upset yeah, about it until I have to. Now's as good a time as any. Really? There's, there's been some damage to the cake in the transport. What, what's going on with it? Well, it, it wasn't packed properly. It was in a too flimsy a box and some of the icing got on the side of the box when it was transported here. All right. We're fixing it. I don't want you guys to worry about it, okay? Okay, so that's I want to see it right now, though. You want to see it right now? Yeah. Okay, well, I warned you. I didn't want, it. I didn't want you to see this. I want to see this. Okay. okay. I don't want to see it. So much for saving $40 on transportation. How was the solution now? That's, that's the more yeah, thick. Do you, have, do you have the same color as well? No, that's the problem. We're going to try to do the best we can and try to fix it up. Thank God for the chef who managed to patch it together with some band-aids and some hydrangeas. And even though the cake may have fallen apart, the rest of the evening remained intact. While some people filled their bellies, others shook theirs, and a good time was had by all. We loved it. It was yeah. so good. I love the food. I love the performers. And in the end, the cake was great. And those lips look pretty delicious, too. Well, Cave, let's just hope Leah's kisses are sweet enough to mask the bad taste this bill might leave in your mouth.
The original budget we handed to David was $15,000. The cake still worked out okay, and the cost was $300. Cave suit, which was a little worrisome, cost $1,000. The flowers and decor made the room look very regal, and the cost was $3,400. David, our great wedding planner, his fee was $5,000. Leah looked beautiful in that very expensive gown, but all said and done, it cost $5,500. The rings which we designed specifically to our taste cost $9,000. The venue complemented our style, and it, plus food and alcohol, cost $26,000. The little extras like DJ, transportation, and performers, they cost us $4,980. What we actually spent was $55,180, which put us over $40,180. But because uh, both our parents gave us $12,000, technically, we're really over $16,180. So for those technicalities, thank God for loving parents. Yes. <laughs> our couple is ecstatic. The guests were entertained and their budget subsidized. The only question left, does anybody have jumper cables? Small but important announcement, there's a blue Chevy in the parking lot. Your lights are on, so please go turn them <laughs> off. Spending a lot doesn't make you more married. We lived happily ever after. <laughs> My brother was flying in to walk me down the aisle from Vancouver, and he had no shoes. So he actually had to be in the wedding with no shoes on, just black socks. It was hilarious. Mark.